Hello, welcome to Business and Leadership Stories with me, Rishi K. Now, we all remember stories from our epics, from the comic books of yore or the movies. But when asked if we remember a business presentation that we saw last week, we often just scratch our heads. That's because stories are a hack into the human brain and we need to use more of them. Sachin Bhandari from The Story Co. is helping companies, startups and professionals break the culture of MBA speak, use the power of stories to achieve their business goals with speed and ease. And here he is back again. What's up, brother? All good? All good, all good, Rishil. Really looking forward to our chat today. Something really close to my heart. <laughs> now, how this works is, uh, he tells a story. The moment Sachin finishes the story, I ask him for the communication or leadership tip for the day based on that particular story. And today, it's Tanmay Bhatt, the comedian formerly of AIB, Mr. Funny Man, who's famous uh, the country over. And Sachin, this is what you call his stand-up secret sauce. Tanmay Bhatt today is a star, right? Everything he says, everything he does makes news. Of course, he quotes controversies and uh, he has an enviable wit. But back in 2010-11, it wasn't so. Make a career out of stand-up comedy and something helped him, which a lot of people today don't realize. And that is the fact that a foreign brand decided to come into India and uh, start this culture of stand-up comedy. Uh, before that, it was thought that uh, English language stand-up comedy doesn't really have a market in India and that is why you had all of those Hindi related shows on TV which do used, of course used to do well. But uh, a lot of youngsters, despite that, wanted to crack English language jokes because a lot of us have access to American stand-up comedy and uh, Brit stand-up comedy and all of that. Uh, and during that time, uh, the comedy store in 2011, if I'm not wrong, came to India and came specifically to Phoenix Mills in Dadar, Lower Parel in Mumbai. And that time they were looking for young and old stand-up comics who could crack a joke or two in English. And they started auditioning people, they started calling people for open mics. Uh, there, were, there, were, there, were, there was a bunch of people who really supported each other, had a love-hate relationship with each other and one among them was me. So I was also on the sidelines when people like Tanmay, Khamba, uh, Varun Grover, uh, your uh, uh, Sindhi man, uh, uh, Atul Khatri were all performing in these open mics. And over a period of time, what I noticed with Tanmay is that he would crack the same jokes in different open mics, but he would make it to an open mic no matter what. Uh, the jokes were the same, but his enthusiasm was always new. And he was actually just bettering himself one after the other so that he could prepare for the big stage. And when the big stage opportunity arrived, which was AIB's Bollywood Rose, uh, they've never looked back ever since. Of course, they've had ups and downs and all of that. But I think that event really catapulted them to a different level of, uh, uh, of fame and visibility, which they've been able to utilize mm, well or bad. We don't really know. But uh, of course, Tanmay is a name to reckon with. Now, this is not something that's true just of Tanmay. If you look at any stand-up comic, Varun Grover and all the other people that I spoke about, they all actually perform at open mics many a times before they go to a really big stage. So, if Tanmay is cracking a joke today or at a stand-up stage, he's probably cracked it 100 times before, before it's come to you. Super stuff. Now, from that story, what is the communication tip for the day, Sachin? Uh, Rishi, uh, I think uh, it, it's it's pretty simple. Uh, we, I mean, we don't have to be stand-up comics for a living, and I think that's good because uh, stand-up comedy, from what I know, the little stint that I had, is a very demanding career, and you always have to be on to create new jokes. It's not easy, but in one way, our life also mirrors stand-up comics. We sometimes ha are in situations where the way we speak or the messages we give. Uh, or the presentations we make can actually make a difference to our career, our leadership and even in our, our entrepreneurship journey. But ask yourselves, how much do we prepare? A stand-up comic, like I said, like Tanmay, he's probably cracked a single joke 100 times before he got to the big stage. But we sometimes go into important meetings, important pitches or even speak to our team at an annual conference without much preparation. And I think that's counterproductive. In 
whatever whenever you are doing any kind of high stakes communication at least you need to prepare you need to get feedback from people so start small so what i generally do is that if i have to speak at an important event i outline whatever i have to do then i go around uh, just looking for people who are interested in listening to me it could be my wife it could be my colleague ranjini my partner and the co-founder in the company or friends uh, but i do make sure that i uh, share uh, whatever i have to say with a few people and get their feedback and i do this a few times over and then i go and speak at trainings or workshops for you know big companies like tata motors uh, sacks and all of that so my one tip for everybody is that prepare uh, practice and get feedback because if it's an important life or career event the last thing you want is that you've not prepared for it and you don't know whether what you're going to say is going to connect with the audience and the simple way to do that is that just start preparing well in advance man that's it <laughs> Sachin also puts out this incredible newsletter. It's called Win with Stories. If people want to reach out to you, hire your services, read your newsletter. Where can they go to Sachin? Uh, yep. Thanks, Rishi. Thanks for bringing that up. I write on LinkedIn five days a week, mostly, and it's always a story or a communication tip or a business storytelling tip. Uh, uh, whoever wants to learn more about business storytelling can connect with me by. looking for sachin bhandari on linkedin sachin is easy s a c h i n bhandari is b h a n d a r y not i but y on linkedin and on my profile page they will find the link to my newsletter as well super stuff so till next time take care of yourself bye bye thank you rishi thank you one world your station Radio 1.